stays on my ship for a while now, or he stays there for the rest of the rest of the time. your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But no! still. Best oh, stop! <laughs> Few Kalarian scientists interested in Genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Oh. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Oh. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Uh, her all right. Somewhat different. <laughs> you care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Oh, stop! <laughs> I hate that! So we did the right thing oh. the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're uh, using the data. Okay. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. I like Morden. This crash site's a nightmare. As long as they can help. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch, son. <laughs> Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. Is that the best you can do? Yes, ma'am. The Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Oh, it's very yes. eerie here, and I don't like this. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Oh! Looks worse than I feared. Yeah, this doesn't look great. I also upgraded a bit of my armor. <laughs> I did some upgrades. Ooh. I did a lot of shopping, so I need all the credits I can get. On Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? Maps of the area list no important resources. Hostiles. Handle them quickly. We do not want reinforcement. Was that quick enough? Escape pod. Our 
first casualties. It appears that they survived the crash, and then a harvester exploded the pod. Oh. Died in the explosion. Or dragged out and eaten by husks. Picking up auditory evidence of conflict. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. <laughs> a sneak attack! Perfect. Perfect! Yes! Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Shoot it in the butt! What do you think I'm trying to do? I don't know if that's a critical point or not. Are we doing any damage? Okay. It's dead. <gasps> I was not expecting that. Oh, can I not get in there? Oh, I can't. Excuse me. We managed to save them all. Excuse me, thank you. Oh, we did it! We saved all of them. Nice. The son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. Ooh. It's a big military name on Paladin. Ward expected to run in the Victus blood. Organic species give disproportionate credit to parental influence. Peer groups are a more important factor in determining behavior. Sure, but you can't shame a village for raising a bad kid, Evie. Ooh. I got him. Another one. <gasps> you missed! Ha <laughs> ha! Damn, another harvester! Oh my god! Oh, it's almost dead. No, get back here. Where do you think you're going? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Where do they come from? Oh! I think we saved all those. Oh men. my Come this way. God. That scared the crap out of me. Repeat, do you read? Shepard here, what's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Vixus is going to pay for this. Court Marshal are hanging. Or who? Here. Oh, who hit me? Oh, not another one of you. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Okay, let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. I am trying to understand the emotions and politics that would motivate the Turians to refuse Krogan support. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense, it's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. Where's that harvester? All right, let's move! Full arsenal, it's already. Oh, oh. my- Oh! <gasps> oh, no! Oh! I didn't- Ah! <laughs> no, I didn't know where it was! Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Um, Thank you for people want to kill you. What did you do? What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Tell him, Shepard. Lieutenant. What's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. 
When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Oh, Suddenly, no. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it, and so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men. I own what happened here today, but we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. Damn! <laughs> and oh my God! Not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. That's how you make a speech. Come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Woo! All right! Cerberus bomb. Yeah, not what great. <laughs> not great. <laughs> Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Celtic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No clue. No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. You got it. Ugh. Primark Victus. I have some questions for you. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? <gasps> Get him! I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? I have to trust you. <laughs> Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing. I Canada. knew it. Thank you for oh. saving my son. Well, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> Anything else? <gasps> Morden. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure is ready? No, still need transmission vector. Cure useless unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morden. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course, always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless. Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. 
<laughs> that was devious. <laughs> Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector. Then you Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little bijack. That's our best <laughs> shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Oh my goodness, everybody wants to talk to me! <laughs> what? Hello? Shepard. You're alive. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? No. Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... <gasps> more than <gasps> What? She misses you. <laughs> what? The world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. Yeah, diplomacy is being a pain in the butt right now. <laughs> Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. I have been. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> what about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that I feel you like that's foreshadowing. <laughs> I don't like it. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Bye, buddy. Continue to stay alive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know what I can even do now. Okay. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right? Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. Listen. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge <laughs> Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni relay. <gasps> We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. From the where? The scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. <gasps> were you neutered? <laughs> oh no, Rex! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? Nope. That's all. Of course, Commander. 
I just wanted to see if you had anything else to say. Look at, let me talk to Kelly. Not Kelly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no, this is not Kelly. I feel so guilty. Well, whatever you did down there stirred up a lot of Turian comm traffic. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week. And it would be wrong. Normandy shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What? What do you mean, <gasps> Turian? It was planted centuries ago. After the Krogan rebellions. What? The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. Of course. Of course. Uh. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th platoon will cover your flight, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Oh, great. Of course. Something tells me this mission is not going to be easy. Let's move it, people! Get behind something! Keep your head this down. is not going to be easy at all. We already started off blasting! Oh my god! We're getting heavy resistance here! Entrance sighted! We're on the move! Peace out! Don't touch me! Ooh. Copy that. Shiny. I'm gonna be getting so many weapon upgrades. Yes. We gotta go. Pretty extreme, but those were desperate times. While morally questionable, the strategy is sound. Morally questionable. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. Even in all this, it must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. It must have been strategically placed for maximum yield. I advise haste, Commander. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Okay. We're on our way. We're nearly on top of the bombs. Cerberus will be back with everything. So many upgrades. This is a high value target. Cerberus will commit any reserves it has. Hello? The original oh, Where did that person go? We need to hurry. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh my god. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. <gasps> oh! I was not expecting that. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Oh, not them with a sniper! Oh man, not like this! Ah! Oh no! Oh my God! Nobody gets past us. Clear. Hello. Just a random man's here. Oh! Commander, firewalls down. I'm in. Spirits. Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It sends it. Disarm it! Uh, why did you no stop talking? I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! How can you do that? Oh, you're cl Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Don't explode. Don't die. Oh no, I have a feeling this person's not making it. They're gonna die, a hero! Oh no. Get out of there! Why would you just stand and watch? Oh no. What are you gonna do? How can you even fix this? Oh, I don't like this. Lieutenant! Victory. At any cost. <gasps> oh! Oh! Well, not, no! Not like this. I kind of liked him. <laughs> I knew that for two seconds, but I liked him. Man! So many casualties. Great! The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Great, now I have to tell him. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh. Hey. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, You've got a situation brewing. Uh, yeah, I can We're only imagine. <laughs> those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. I'm trying. Check it out. <gasps> oh. With the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough. You had to plant a bomb on my planet. The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey, we can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. Thank you for listening! We do. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. My son. He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Ah <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> ah! Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. Oh! While this body has olfactory sensors, 
I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. <laughs> you gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. Oh. I'm just glad we disarmed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. I don't know what happens that- oh! <laughs> Hello? What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders enter their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper's gonna be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. 